Hi everybody, this is Cindy Gunter Baldo and it is time for another hot mess plan with me, this time in my Inkwell Press Classic Layout Planner, the week of March 7th through March 13th, 2016. Um, as always, just a disclaimer, my videos are uncensored, so if I drop the F-bomb, don't be surprised. It's, you know, it's what I do. So, since I've been playing this since the beginning of the year, um, I've been doing a lot of covering up of the bottom boxes, either with scrapbook paper or Chrissy Ann Designs does um, these awesome um, skeletons to cover the bottom boxes. But this week, I'm going to use the Station Stickers Club March subscription. I love these with their foiling. This time it's mint foil. It's super cute. And I love this green and kind of yellow and gray situation here. And it kind of looks nice with the green color of March. So I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going to use these stickers. And then I am going to put some washi down to cover the bottom box to fancy it up. I've got two. I've got this green kind of polka dot washi. I don't remember where I got that. And then I maybe Target. This feels like a dollar spot washi. And then this one with these like kind of ferny looking things, which kind of look nice with like the flowery patterns and the green colors and the gray. This is from one of Michael's new like $12.99, new right now at least in March of 2016, um, tubes that they have of washi that they're selling. I don't remember what it's like, like the color color something whatever it's got the words you know the set with like these words and stuff um but this is one of the pattern sets anyway I really like it so I'm gonna put this polka dot washi down first I'm just gonna cover up the bottom box and I'm mainly doing this so that I can add a little bit of color more color more interest to the bottom rather than just having the plain boxes. Not that I mind the plain boxes. I like the plain boxes, but I just cannot be appeased with simple. I have to like make things fancy or my head will explode. That's not actually true. My head probably won't explode. However, that's just really pretty and it's like super muted and it really looks nice with the colors. Whoops. With the colors. <laughs> with the colors of the Inkwell Press Planner for this month. So let's see if I can get this straight. You know, there's lines there. You would think I wouldn't have that much of a problem. But motherfucker, sorry, damn it. Trying to be all suave and do it right and then I just screw the whole fucking thing up. Sorry, I'm, I tried to film this video four times now and my camera was being a brat. So maybe it was my memory card being a brat. Something was being a brat. And you know what? That's not perfect. But fuck it. It's what's going to be. Sorry. I thought I was going to be all like zen and happy. I'm like, oh, don't worry. I'm not going to I'm not gonna cuss too much on this video. I got this down. I'm figuring it out. Nope. I'm, I'm, I am right into my aggravated want to slap a hoe kind of place that I've got going on here. Anyway. See if I can lay this down nicely. Ooh. Okay. So kind of got this ferny shit going on on the bottom. I like how pretty it looks. Not perfectly straight, but at this point I'm going to take it. Um, for those of you who are not you know, big on watching my videos, this that I used to like cut the washi. It's an artist loft palette knife angled from Michael's like three bucks, four bucks, something like that. And then I'm going to divide up the, the day, the days with this skinny washi. It's, it has the mint foil, and this is not exactly mint. This is like a darker kind of green, but it's still kind of pretty. goes with the whole theme from Bye Bye Birdies Co-op, or you can get her. Danielle has um, a shop called Night Owl, whoops, Night Owl Washi on Store Envy. And she's my skinny washi dealer. Generally speaking, I get it from her because she puts her buys out and get, you can get it for insanely cheap as opposed to buying washi from like, if you can find washi this skinny from like craft stores and shit. If you can find that, then you usually are spending hella money per roll. But when you buy it from Danielle, you can get it super cheap. So I fully... God, sticking to my finger. I'm trying to throw away the excess. It's not 
oh, this is going to be one of those days. Oh, I sound like my, my almost 10 year old. Anyway, so yeah. So I love using skinny washi to separate the days. I think I've done it almost every single day since I started using this planner. Just because, you know, she, Tanya from Equal Press has, this, this is awesome. She has a ton of space in here for writing and for notes and it's so much functional space. But it doesn't have a lot of, like, opportunities to add, like, I don't want to say frivolous decoration, but it's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it's relatively straight. Yeah, I don't want to say frivolous decoration, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about here. And so just doing something simple, like adding this like super skinny three millimeter washi tape to the lines that separate the days just adds a little like bit of pizzazz and spruces it up even if you're not cutting things perfectly straight like I am but I'm choosing to ignore that because I really don't want this video to be 85 years motherfucker I don't want this video to be 85 years long I've been trying to speed some parts up but I know that if I speed up the scenes the scenes from Cindy's washy frustrations that god damn it I don't like that do you know what? It's long enough. It's just... This is the kind of shit that pisses me off. Okay. If I cut it, I think it's long enough. I just cut it a little too long at the bottom, a little too short at the top. So let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, and I am going to just be like, oh, this wasted effort for nothing. I freaking just drooled on my planner. How to fucking do... Not got... Ugh. It's good. It's good. I got this. This is going to work. I'm going to make this work. Okay. This has just been frustrating. You know, I've been trying to get the, hang, the swing of filming more often. And then I got, had, God damn it. I had oral surgery this week. And my mouth actually finally doesn't feel quite so much like Satan's asshole. But... Um, but I had this grand plan to get filming, get a lot of, that's so fucking crooked. Oh my God. Okay. Well, for all of you who tune in to see me struggle with my washi tape, you are getting your freaking you're, you're getting your money's worth. You're, you how much you pay from a free, you're getting your. Your money's worth today. Okay, you know what? I give up on this piece. I give up. It's defeated me. Anyway, I had oral surgery this week, and I um, had this lofty goal of trying to get ahead in filming so that I would not be a slacker and have all this time off like I did in January and most of February this year. However, you know, when your mouth is puffed up and you're riding the painkillers like I think I would have been able to make some really hilarious videos because I do say some interesting things when I'm super hopped up on Vicodin however I really was in no condition to sit upright let alone film and if my camera was going to be any flavor of brat that it like that it was half an hour ago when I was trying to start filming this I would have, it would have been a non-pretty sight. It would have been all sorts of heinous. So, let's bear this way. So I'm going to add that I cut this glitter washi with scissors rather than with the, um, the palette knife because the glitter washi doesn't tear evenly. It kind of gets raggedy when you tear it that way. Scissors just work a whole lot cleaner. Okay, so there is some crookedness, but I don't give a shit. Okay. Now I need to go in and stamp my, this is just my setup. And again, you watch my videos. I don't vary it very often. <laughs> so I'm going to start by doing my dinner boxes. These bottom are for bo uh, dinner and work 
So for my dinner, I use the dinner stamp from the Seasonal Plans Fall Winter from Studio L2E. And for my work, I'm using this artist palette stamp because I'm an artist for my day job. Also from the Creative Plans set, Studio L2E. So I'm going to... I am going to do the two stamping, one, two, bang, bang here. Um, and I... Trying to line these up. This is my trying to save time, but I'm always sloppy at stamping, so probably not the best in the world. However, it it makes it just so that I don't spend hell of time stamping since I I try valiantly to stamp. I really suck at stamping. So but I'm trying. Okay, that'll work. So I picked uh, it's Tin Can. It's one of the Prima Chalk Edgers, and this is a gray ink tin can, and I'm using it because it kind of matches the gray in the sticker kit that I'm going to be using as inspiration. So I'm going to stamp the shit out of all these bottom boxes. Okay, and now I'm going to do my weather. And I'm going to use the weather stamps from Tiny Stamps Big Plans on Etsy. Um, I only do the first, I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I will do the rest of the weather when I go in and finish up my weekend planning. Okay. So I've got my weather written, my weather stamped in. I used the, the raindrop stamp and the cloudy with the little sun stamp. And so the pen I'm going to use is the one I've been using a lot lately because I really like it. It's the Pilot G2.38 tip. It's really fine. I'm going to go through and write in my weather for the week that I have so far and write in my work schedule. As you can see, I screwed up writing that in. It's 8 a.m. Whatever. I do it already, but I do it for me ultimately. And if you can't screw up on your own planner, then where can you screw up, right? Okay, so that's done. So now we have to go through and add in all of the, uh, all of my things that I need to. So I'm going to go add in my children's activities. So these are dance stickers from my Queen Bee Designs. Dance stickers for my daughter. Where the hell did it go? I just lost it. And then we have baseball games for my son. And I have some new baseball game stickers that were sent to me in a random act of kindness from a member of Planners Gone Wild. And they were, these are from Planner Chick Designs. And these are practice game stickers. And I really like them. I think they're pretty. So we have a game on Wednesday. And we have a game on Sunday. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to fill in the times on these really quick. Okay, so those are in. Now I need to add in grown up stuff that's happening. Um, I'm gonna see here. I've got my Chrissy Ann Designs meeting stickers that I did with her and I try to be really, um, I try to be really, uh, I don't want to use that one. I'm trying to be really, um, careful with using a lot of them because I love them and I do a lot of meetings. Okay, this green is perfect. This is a Chrissy Ann Designs meeting sticker that I lettered for her. And I want to use a half box. So, what do you think? 
going to use this dark one. Whoops. And then I'm going to slap this over the top. I have a board meeting that night. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks cool. Okay, so there's that. And then what other grown-up shit do we have going on this week? My husband has band practice. So... We'll use one of these. We'll use this yellow one for my husband's band practice. I'll put it here. And then I'm going to grab a music sticker. I've got a bunch of music stickers from Libby and Company. Use this green one. Doesn't really match all the rest of the green, but close enough for my husband's band practice. Okay. And then I want to add a payday sticker because I'm getting paid. Getting paid! Okay, so I'm going to use a payday sticker from Planner Penny. She used to be called KG Planner, but Planner Penny is her name now. And I love these, and I use them so much. So this is a payday sticker. Okay, so I've added in some of my grown-up shit, so I'm going to go and write in the information for that really quick. Now I have an appointment that I need to do. I have dental... The ongoing saga of my dental work. So we have, um, we use this one for this day, and that would be, I'm going to put it here, and this, and then I have one Friday morning, first thing, isn't that exciting to spend my day off driving to San Francisco because I go to the dental college there because the amount of dental stuff I'm getting taken care of. I would have no money left ever. God damn it, is that fucking crooked? Oh my God. Well, at least if the sticker pulled off okay. I'm like looking to see, you know, it's kind of hard. I don't want to bonk the camera with my head, but my fear of hella crooked stickers. Okay, whatever, it's close enough. Okay, so. I have those down, and then I pulled out my favorite little kawaii medical stickers. People have asked me before where I got these. I'll tell you right now. I have I got them from a, st a shop on Etsy called Kawaii Stickers for You. They don't always have these in stock. You just got to kind of keep an eye out for them. But I love these little tiny teeth stickers. I think they're perfect. Okay, so those are in, so I'm going to write my dental appointments in. Okay, I'm going to use the same polka dot washi that I used on the bottom to mark my daughter will be out of town this weekend at a retreat for middle schoolers from our church. So I'm going to mark it like this. Mark it here. Okay, and I'm going to add in these flags to mark the beginning and the end of her journey. Writing with the tiny pen really helps when you're writing that small on there. So that's for my daughter's trip to mugs, which is middle school you use. Okay, so that's all entered in here. Let's see here. Um, is there anything else that I really want to add in here before I move on? Oh, there's a couple of other things. Um, probably do some lettering, and that should wrap me up for the week before I get in. Okay, so what am I doing? Okay, I got to write in a couple of things. So here I'm going to put in, It's um, in case you don't know, if you live in a state that does, you know, the time change every year, twice a year. The 13th is the beginning of daylight savings time. But because just saying it's the beginning of daylight savings time never actually reminds me of what I'm supposed to do, I will write the thing I usually write, which is spring forward.
So while I'm lettering this in, instead of speeding this part up, I'm going to um, ask some questions. I'd love to see some answers in the comments. So I am in the process of moving the Llamas Love Lettering website to a different server and updating some stuff, trying to get a little bit... I haven't really been doing a lot of posting there just because I haven't done things that require a lot of worksheets and until I move it over I didn't want to do a whole bunch of work on there. So I'm getting prepared to do a lot more focusing on this. This is spring forward and then we have... I'm going to flip this over. And the other thing that we've got going on is... Um, okay, well it's a dine and donate. So for those of you who don't know what dine and donates are, um, it's when a local restaurant has a day where they offer a percentage of what they of the what they the business they do to a school that they've partnered with, and we've got one of those next week, and I'm excited because it's one of my favorite Italian restaurants in town. Anyway, so the thing I want to know, and I'd love you to leave your answers in the comments. I want to start doing at least once a month a video where I talk about stuff within the like the like planner stuff and art stuff like favorites like I've seen on beauty channels they do like their haul their favorites videos I don't do hauls generally I don't buy I buy a lot of stuff but I don't tend to post it everywhere because it feels kind of cheesy to me like not cheesy for people who do that especially because I know people like to watch hauls I just don't it's not something that my personality like lends itself to. I don't want to recommend something unless I've used it. And sometimes with hauls, I haven't used it yet. So I'm like excited to get it, but I'm not going to be able to tell you if, if I like it or not. I don't want to recommend it to you. Oh, I spent money on it, but I don't know if I like it or not yet, you know? But I do like the idea of doing a monthly favorites video. Now, Um, now not with makeup, even though I probably could, I'm starting to get more into makeup, but I am not at all someone who should be giving any flavor of makeup <laughs> advice. However, um, I do, I do want to do like a favorites video for like, like planner and art supply stuff, pens. Like I have my pens video, which should be going up in the next couple of days. Um, and so now I'm going to use this Tombow marker to add some color to this. Um, I got a pens video coming up, but when I filmed everything, I didn't have this other set of brush pens, and I really like them. I'm not going to refilm the video for those pens, but if I mention them in a favorites video, you could see them. But if I did do a favorites video for the month, I wouldn't want it to just be favorites. I actually would really love to do a video where I talk about, where I'll answer like a question. Like I've done Q&As where I've answered a bunch of questions people have had, but I'm talking like if you ask a specific question about being a professional artist or, you know, lettering or whatever, any question you want to hear my answer to. If you Instagram, like comment on my Instagram that you have a question for me or on YouTube, I will try to make a list and I'll try to address one or two of them in one of these videos once a month or so. So if this kind of a video where I talk about my favorite things for that month, things I love, and answer questions that you had that month, if that sounds interesting to you, please let me know in the comments. I'm really trying to like set up a schedule so that I post videos more often and I stop being such a flaky asshole <laughs> about posting on YouTube. But I don't want to do stuff if you don't want to see it. So just let me know. Anyway, now that I've rambled moving my hands, oh, talking with hand movements, um, I'm pretty sure that that, oh, I have one more thing I want to add into here, and that is um, I want to get my list ready for the things I need to do this week. So, let's see, we need, I need email. This is people to email this week because I do have a lot of that I have to do. And then I need to just 
slap some of these on here. I generally kind of think about the things I know I have to do and put them on in sort of the same order that I think I'm going to need to. I'm going to slap this Be Bold sticker here so that I can actually, as like a reminder. Okay, so that's my week that I've got set up. I have other things I need to add in, but I'm going to do that later when I've got my kind of my stuff figured out. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a list in the comments of everything that I used. Please subscribe if you don't already and look for me on Instagram at Llama Letters. I love seeing your stuff. And like I said, if you are interested in me doing the monthly kind of favorites question and answer session, let me know in the comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.